No, sir, George, that's not scratches. Those are scuff marks just in the wax. Oh, that's not scratches. Yep, that's yep. Scratches. That's not scratches. Oh, yeah. All right, what's up, Facebook, YouTube? What's up, guys? Today is, uh, what is today? April the 12th. You guys, if you go back and look at my last video, this is the job, not the job, but the estimate I came out to yesterday. Um, the guy's putting this house on the market, and when he came and looked at the floors after the tenants moved out, just a bunch of wax on the floor. So I got, of course, my main guy, Scoby. Then we got one of our local guys, George. He just comes to give us a hand here and there uh, when he's free. So again, this is 1,200, 1,000. Uh, 23 square feet uh, of wax removal at $2.50 a square foot. So you notice George was just talking about scratches. A lot of times people see these and these are not scratches. These are basically just scuff marks in this wax that's on the floors because again, wax does not cure, okay? So what we're gonna be doing guys is basically removing all this wax from the floors, uh, clean the floors, um, buff them out. I might do a top coat, just depends on how the floors look. But the main reason of this job is to get all this wax off the floors. So of course, I'm gonna show you guys the process. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I am scrubbing. And then George Ascobie is gonna come behind. But if you look really close, look at that line. That's the wax coming off the floors. Now the good thing about these floors, this is a pre-finished floor, okay? See all that wax coming off? See right here? So what I'm gonna do is come back and show you guys a half and half. If you, I'm gonna zoom in right quick with George Speedy, see all those scuff marks? Now look over here, just taking the wax off. You don't see them anymore. That water is everything, isn't it? Yep. The water and the emulsifier. I had a lady call me from Texas today. Um, from YouTube. Yeah, she uh she got wax on her floors. Yeah. I, I ain't gonna say the company name, but it's a national brand company. Does it say uh, SS? And uh, she said they came out. She said they could not get it off my floors. Yeah. And she can't find nobody to get the wax off her floors. Why did we call them from the moon? I know, right? A little, and let's go over the right trip chart and we'll go do it. <laughs> we might be going to uh, Hilton Head soon, George. Hilton Head, that? South Carolina. Lady, yeah, lady called me yesterday. We got the same issue. Yeah, and look, her floors is brand new. Wow. Yeah, brand new floors. Like the one, did you see that one I did two weeks ago when I was knocking all that stuff off them brand new floors? I just did. Man, that job whooped my butt. Yeah, I'm sure some job was quite a challenge. Get it done. All right, guys, look at this. Look at those floors. Now, Scobie is just mopping around the edges. Sometimes with these machines, they don't really get good around the edges, so that's another technique that we use. But look at the difference. Yo, George, you see the difference? <laughs> so, guys, I'm gonna zoom in. Look at all those scuff marks, yep. All those scuff marks. Look at all that. Now, let me go over here. Look at that. This is how your floor should look, all right? Big, 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 big difference. And then you have these companies. He told a, he had a company come in, yeah. told him um, to just put luxury mounted plank floors over eight thousand oh, dollars. We're doing this job for twenty five hundred. See what I'm saying? Yeah, no brainer. No brainer. No brainer. All right, guys. See how we emulsify the wax. See how it looks when it goes back to a liquid form. Now the reason why is this color because again, wax doesn't cure. So especially when your house heats up, a lot of dirt and dust gets trapped into it. So that's why now basically what you see is dirty wax because these wax products do go on clear, all right? But see this, the reason why it's doing that because again, that dirt, hair, uh, dust, contaminants get caught up in it because 
again, when it gets warm in the house, that wax softens up. That's why a lot of times when I go to uh, clients' homes and I can just walk on the floor and tell there's wax on the floors because if you walk around your house and your floor and your feet feel sticky or your your uh, your socks your socks feel sticky, you either got wax on your floor or you have a lot of residue on your floor. All right, so you see all that wax breaking down. All right, see that? All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, we got this section of the floor done. You can see the difference. Now, let me turn around. Follow my hand. Look at that. I got all that wax sit on the floors over here. And let's come back. See that? Big, big difference. Big difference. All right, guys, stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys, I just got through uh, putting down, uh, no, I'm sorry, I just got through flat mopping Scobie and George, they're going. So I just got through flat mopping, uh, doing my post clean, and uh, you can see it's drying out right here. So what I'm gonna do, my client said he'll be here between 5.30 and 6. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the top coat put down, probably take me 10, 15 minutes. Again, it's not a, it's not a polyurethane, thing, it's really for floors like this. Uh, engineered floors, they already have a type of build, and then we just wanna add some sheen to it and some more protection protection just to make it look better so when he's trying to show off the property the floors look as good as possible okay so i'm not we're not screening the only time you can use polyurethane is when you screen the floor okay because if not you're going to have adhesion issues with a lot of these uh topical products you don't have to do that uh, but you do want to make sure the floor is clean as possible and that's why i did a post clean so this floor will be fully dry i'm gonna say about another 10 20 minutes then i'm gonna go ahead and get the finish down and i'm gonna run off and get me a little snack <laughs> and then i'll be back uh, with my client let him see the floors and um, take it from there all right guys see you in the next one well no I'll see you in in the next clip yes sir all right guys I am actually putting a second coat down I just want to give this floor some really good superior protection because again these urethanes are not like polyurethanes so but my client just walked in he's taking pictures he's very happy with it and see, you said they told you what seven, eight grand to refurbish. Yes, sir. Yep. To put vinyl on top on of top. these beautiful floors. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. So, guys, this is how it looks after the first coat. So, I want to go ahead and put a second coat down for Steve again. I just want to make these floors look good as possible. As you can see, we got all the wax removed from these floors, and this is what we do, guys. We save people's floors; so they don't have to replace it. And I don't understand why they told him to put vinyl over it because actually these floors can be sanded um, if needed. But you can see they didn't need to be sanded, just needed the wax off and voila. All right, guys, I'm going to get a second coat down. Tomorrow, me and Scobie have a nice screen and recoat in Beaufort, actually where we are now. And Steve, how did you hear about me again? I heard about you when uh, I looked you up online and on Facebook. Facebook, nice. Okay, online and Facebook. All right, guys. See you in the next one.